I'm going to show you how to roughen edges and add grain quickly in Illustrator. The first thing we're going to do is create the curve of our hill. We're not going to go quite in the center, and you'll see why in a minute. We're going to go all the way to the other edge. Close our path, and we're going to hit V to get out of it, and click out of it, and then we're going to hit P for the pen tool, and we're going to intersect right there. And instead of using the pen tool, we're going to come over here to the curvature tool now. And it's not going to show that it's following that edge, but all you need to do is click on a point and it will create it. This creates a perfect bezier uh, path. And all you need to do is create more anchor points to get it right. Now we're going to intersect over this line. And I'm not super happy with how my path is, so I'm going to just come back. All you need to do is click on the point and edit that and click V or the selection tool to get out of that. And there we go, we have our hillside. Now we're going to select all of it and hit Shift M or go here to the Shape Builder tool. This is my favorite tool in Illustrator by far. And we're going to just click on each shape and that's going to turn it into individual shapes. We'll delete that little path because it's extra. Uh, we're going to click on this and uh, I already have a palette set here. So I'm just going to uh, drop, I drop my colors that I've already selected, but I am going to come back with the gradient tool and holding shift, I'm going to find where I want to put my gradient. Next, we're going to select our shape and we're going to go to Effect, Stylize, and then Scribble. Now, there's a bunch of different options on here, but I'm going to show you what everything does. Uh, scribble, as I go to the angle, you'll notice that it changes the direction of where the scribble is coming from. And I really actually liked it right there. It gave it a little bit of depth to it. The path overlay, so you can see that the path is right there and it's going a little bit over. That's what this path overlap does and you can have it either more outside or more inside. For what we're doing, I'm just going to leave it at zero. And we can just go back in here if you hit okay because we're just previewing it right now. Variation changes uh, the path overlap distance. Now I'm gonna keep that to Let's, let's do two, and with the stroke width, that will change just how thick each one of these little ridges is. So when you have it this close, uh, you can't really tell that big of a difference. The curviness keeps it more tight or uh, more loopy, and I, this won't do a great job at showing you because our loops are so tight, but um, you can play around with it and, and it does some kind of crazy effects and it's more chaotic when you do that. Variation does the same thing but with curviness. Now the spacing we're going to keep tight. You might have a problem if you are experimenting with this because uh, it tends to crash and so just I'm warning you right now if you have a older processor you might have problems with it. So you can kind of see it just adds more space between it. It's a fun effect. Oh, and here we go. Let's let's see what happens. I'm gonna hit stop, and sometimes this fixes it, goes back to the last state. We'll hit okay. And just like that, it came back. So I'm going to keep that at one. I really like where that's at, and I'm gonna hit okay. We're going to go to our next shape and hit apply scribble again, and that's actually going to give us the same scribble. Now the one thing I don't like about this is right there where that nice S curve is, uh, it's a flat angle. So we're just going to come in here and we're going to experiment finding the right angle in which we really get that nice S curve. I'm digging that. So let's, let's call that good. Now, I, I really like the direction this is going, but I think it could use something else. So we're going to select, we're going to paste in place, and then what we're going to do is come over here, we're gonna select both of these, 
and we're going to go hit G, that's our gradient tool. And instead of doing these colors, we're going to do black and white. So you can just select each one of these and the darker value is going to be your black and your lighter value is going to be your white. So now that we got those there, uh, the next thing you're gonna do is select your white and let's just take that down to a zero opacity. We'll go back over to this shape, edit our gradient and put that to zero. And you'll see exactly why I'm doing this in a moment. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to texture and we're going to select grain and I already have it to where I like it, but you can see different types of grain types. Uh, these could be kind of cool for, for different effects that you might be going for, but I tend to stick with either the sprinkles or in this case, we're going to go with the stippled. We're going to hit OK and we're going to come over here and click our other shape and go to apply grain, it will just do exactly what you did, but on this one instead. And now, instead of having these be a normal layer mode, we're going to come in here and we're going to select overlay. They're still just a little too strong, so we're going to bring down the opacity. Uh, I'm going to actually deselect that one and come over here and keep going on, on decreasing the opacity. Now there's other things, if you wanna try doing other colors other than black, you can try different colors, different layer modes, and you'll come up with some unique uh, grain colors and textures, and it just really adds that next level to your illustration. So there you have it. That's how you get roughened edges and grain in Illustrator without going to Photoshop. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, and notify. While you're at it, come join our Facebook group named Graphic Design Portfolio Growth Strategies, where you'll learn to build, improve, and maintain your portfolio. The link's in the description below. Thanks for watching and stay creative.